Good afternoon, everyone. I am Lucha FM, as always. Thank you for everybody who watched the last episode. It was a good, fun episode, bringing in some new wrestlers and then trying to try out some of the wrestlers in the last show that I booked. This episode, we'll be concentrating on trying to produce the best shows possible with the wrestlers that we've got. We've now got quite a few wrestlers that can get at least an 80 performance or, a, or at the very least a 70 perform in-ring performance. So that will help us pick a good wrestling card even if we pick a even if we only do five or six matches i feel confident enough that the the matches will be good enough and hopefully we can try and build something from there we are doing very well financially at the moment so now we just need to up it now with the performance side of things hope the money that keeps coming in and yeah just just enjoy it in general really but i just want to say like i said thank you to everyone for your support and it, like i said it's always appreciated and I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we go, kicking off the episode. We have some news. I tried to get Zach Sabre Jr., but he's gone to no on a permanent deal, a written deal, sorry. So we can't get him in at the moment. In the game, William Eva and Ginny have put up, so I don't know why they're still a couple in real life when, I mean, she's married to bloody Gunther and got a kid. So, but, and this is supposed to be an up-to-date database, but oh well. Congratulations to Stevie, Xavier and Kaylee Ray. They've announced they're engaged in the game. Aaliyah James has been hired by Eve. Soraya Knight retires. Dave Masters fully fit and so is Mark Billington. Aaliyah James, oh, we already spoke about that. Mark Haskins is lead, lead progress because he's gone to start with Dragon Gate full-time now. That deal with them is expiring. Dave Mastiff was briefly injured. So on the broadcasting side of things, I will, I just need to do this first. New extend deal. There we go. Still only want us for three months, which is a shame. That's fine. We'll just leave it with that then. Right. So I've managed to get deals in place with Facebook Watch. Your coverage. It's just so it gives us more done and undone deals with YouTube Britain and YouTube Europe. We for the YouTube for the Facebook Watch one, we have to pay like one thousand pounds to them each show. I think I can't remember now. Let me just extend it actually. So they're happy with three months, and then they want it on the. They only want to do it on the graveyard. If I try to do late night, they're happy to do it. So actually, I will. I will change it to late night. But we get 70% of the revenue, so it should balance itself out. It's just this is just the basic, it gets more coverage. And then I think I need to extend. I might as well. So if we go late night, it gives us better coverage, I think. It will cost us one thousand pounds per show, but as we are doing all right financially, I think it's a good deal, really. We're not paying massive amounts for it. And then we just do that again with that one. So, right, so there you go. So that's that done. I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning. Got £91,000 in the bank. So if we just look at the financial side of things, I hope you're interested in this type of thing as well. As If you don't like me showing you all this financial stuff and going on about it, let me know in the comment section. But yeah, we only made £933 from performance but that was because, I mean, look at that, £19,000. <laughs> so we would have probably made about £20,000 from that, like we did last month. But like I said, I was trying people out. Next month should be better. And then we made £965 from ticket sales, £125 from broadcaster revenue, which is slightly up than it was last time. Sponsors is £4,884. And we made £100 from merchandise again, which is slightly up from last month because there was more people in attendance probably. And then the alliance got it gave us eighteen thousand two hundred forty. A main expense was workers because we had like we had two matches with ten wrestlers in. That was twenty wrestlers, and then the other matches there was there was you think about it, there was twenty eight wrestlers used in three matches alone. So um, that just tells you everything. The show costs three thousand pounds. So yeah, so the next couple of sh next show that we do this one coming up is FC techers so we're going to try and create the best show possible i just need to try and remember i know kenny williams is going against mark andrews in the main event so we need to do this auto selection yep so it's going to be on facebook watch wxw now youtube britain and youtube europe so hopefully that will help us a lot we have got no backstage instance which is good so we're doing the opening match first we're just going to do singles matches for this show i think maybe one tag team match Try and keep the cost down as much as possible. So we're going to have Ginny, I think, versus... 
I know she's already wrestled Kaylee Ray, but I think that's the best option to do because they're both really good workers. And I think they'll maybe Jetta. I'm going to do no, I ain't, no, I ain't. It doesn't matter. Just normally, I was going to do a three way match with Ginny, Jetta, and Kaylee Ray, but I'm just going to keep it simple here. Kaylee Ray, 20 minutes. Ginny, the winner. Open match. We won't do that. I believe there's that. There we go. So that's the opening match. I don't think we'll do a blue cane match for this show because I just want to try and get the best match rating possible. So actually saying that though, I heard somebody tell me that the opening match doesn't count towards your show rating anyway. So actually I might just do blue cane versus somebody. We do blue cane. I'm going to put Kid Lycos 2 in there. I'm just going to see what match wise would leave us that. We'll just do a regular match for blue cane, see how he gets on. So we'll swap that. Oh, there we go. And then we need to do some angles, don't we? So we just do Ginny on the mic. Ugh, Ginny microphone. So that needs to go there. And then we'll do an angle with Blue Cane. No, we won't do an angle with Blue Cane because it never does well. Right, so next match. Now, tag team view. So don't, I can't use FCU because of the pack. I can use these two though, but I think I'm going to have the Maroon. Versus, who do I have? Dynamic Duo. Try that one out. Who are the tag team champions? I can't remember who I've got as my tag team champions now. Oh yeah, UK Hooligans. All right, so we'll just have that. Mark and Thomas win. Oh, no. Balls up there. All right, that's that. And we'll do an angle afterwards. Right, first fight. And then that's it. I couldn't remember who it was then. Mark, not Mariah. Yeah, I know right we'll do it afterwards. Yeah, it'll be like a post-match brawl. So that's that done. Right, let's go back to singles matches. Now you see we've got take this down a bit. So it was Trent Seven versus no not Thomas. Trent that was Trent not available. That's a shame. Trent's not available. Jackie Polo, he he had a good performance. And then we'll put him against Nathan Cruz, I think. Hopefully they can have a decent match. And then we do who else do we do? What else do we do? Well mine's now gone blank. Been trying to figure out who had good performances in the last show that we did. Hopefully this will jog my memory. Damien Dunn had a decent match and I think I remember he had a decent in performance. Performance. And we're leaving Mark Morgan Webster. Yeah, so Morgan Webster. Uh, no, we've already done them that much. I don't think Danny Jones has wrestled yet, but I don't know if he's any good. So what do Damien do? Morgan Webster versus Damien Dunn. There we go. Suitable semi-main event match. And then we just got one more match to do. The main event. Kenny Williams versus Mark Andrews. Hopefully this will be a really good match. We'll do 23 minutes. Maybe it might be too long doing that, but we'll see. Just leave it as a regular match, I think, for now. Oh no, hold on. I need to do Kenny Williams as the winner. Mark Andrews is extremely happy with the book in this match. Okay. Well, he's going to be more than happy now. Right, let me just check this first. Actually, sure. I worry, I worry though, because somebody told me if you do this where you put keep strong, it takes away from the match. There we go. Well, hopefully it won't. Right, this is probably the best show I've done so far, I reckon. With the workers that I've got. Obviously, I would have liked Trent Seven versus Nathan Cruz. I can't remember what the other match was. I think it involved Dave Mastiff, but I can't remember now. Right, let's just see how we get on. So in the opening match, I got a 60 rating, best match, best match of Blue Kane's career. And I, and I think it's solely because of the uh, the magician that is Kid Lycos 2, 81. Right, the match got a 70 rating, which is really good. That's what we like to see. Ginny defeated Kaylee Ray. Both people had, both women's wrestlers had their working boots on. Ginny had the best performance of her career so far, I think, with 85. And uh, Kelly Ray got a 70 and they have great chemistry, so maybe we'll book them in a feud, I think, and have them wrestling more each other, wrestling each other more. 62 rating for the tag team match, which ain't too bad. The, uh, the Billington brothers were the best workers out there. Wild Ball only got 68 rating, which is a shame because he got an 80 rating in the uh, match, so maybe there's a reason for that, I don't know. Let me know in the comments section if, if you've spotted something I haven't when I'm doing this booking stuff, then I can learn from it. Post-match angle, only got a 55 rating. Jackie Polo versus Nathan Cruz got a 68 rating, which ain't too bad. Second best match of the night so far. Nathan Cruz, 85 rating. So I think the next show, maybe Kenny Williams versus Nathan Cruz, I think, for the title, I reckon. Jackie Polo got a 74. Not too bad. Maybe Kid... No, hold on. I'll figure it out in a minute. I definitely need to get better commentators, but it's it's just getting the best ones I can get. I might have to look across the pond, as they say, to bring in some decent commentators and announcers now. I'm going to have to really up it. In the semi-main event, only got 65, but it's not too bad. Morgan Webster had an in-ring performance of 82. Damien Dunn had 71. So maybe next show, is... who did 
who did Jackie Polo wrestle? Yeah, so maybe Nathan Cruz versus Morgan Webster next one. And then maybe Kenny Williams versus Trent Seven if I can get him working. Anyway, right, main event time. Kenny Williams. Oh, I didn't got 64. Why didn't he got 64? I really thought that was going to do better than it did. Probably because of the announcing. Maybe because it was too long as well. I don't know. But anyway, Kenny Williams defeated Mark Andrews. He's now defended the title 13 times. So he's held it for 13 months, then in theory, I think, or longer. No, it'll be longer because he's wrestled tag team, a couple of tag team matches as well, isn't he? I'll have a look after this. But yeah, Kenny Williams was 78. Mark Andrews with an 83 rating. So maybe Kenny Williams was slightly off in this one. But overall, ah, oh, that is disappointing. 45 people. That's not good. Increased our popularity in 14 regions, though. Show rating was at 51. We didn't do enough segments, so interviews and stuff. Should have done another angle. But, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed by that. 45. We'll, we'll have to learn from that for the next one. But, yeah, I'm thinking Trent Seven, if he's available, he needs to go in a match. Maybe Dave Mastiff as well. Nathan Cruz is really good. Mark Andrews is really good. Kenny Williams is good. I think maybe now we've got Mark Andrews and Nathan Cruz, we might have to maybe look eventually taking the title off. Kenny Williams. But yeah, we've got 3,578 viewers, which is amazing compared to what we did last time because we've got more people watching. So let's just have a quick look at the finances. 75k. Momentum is 58. Procedure to free. So right then, I'll, uh, you'll see me in a second. Bear with us. Right, and we'll go with that. First things first, we've had Mark Billington poached from WWE. So we, are no, we no longer have the dynamic duo so replacing Mark Billington is a relative of Thomas Billington in OJ Hart, which I think is Owen Hart's son. Very, very new into the business, even though he's 33 years old. He's only had four years experience. Not very well known popularity wise, but I think would be a good addition. He's in the British Empire stable, so he's replaced, even though Mark is still technically here at the moment. He will be leaving soon enough. And then on the announcers side of things, I have some new announcers. I have Dave Prazer, Starbuck and Jim Smallman. So these are the best of what I could get. I have got other, I have hired a few other commentators and announcers. So we can switch it around a bit, see how it goes with that. Financially, we've got 98,302 in the bank, 63% momentum. 3% prestige and uh, broadcasting. Yeah, like I said, we're uh, doing all right on that one. I'm just going to see if I can get another. I forgot to do this offline. Reset this first and then just type in yes. No, nah. so our options are still the same. So that's that really. Let's just have a look at the finances and see how we did. Because we haven't had a show in six weeks, weirdly. So just how they're scheduled. But yeah, we made, weirdly, we only made 3,000 from before. Oh yeah, because I don't think we rest. This is weird. What's going on here? But yeah, because yeah. Sorry, ignore me. So basically, because we didn't have a show in July or August for some reason, so we went two months without a show, I need to look at my events afterwards and try and book them more accordingly. So this is why we didn't make much money. Same with this one. So but we still made 15000 and 18000 from the alliances, which kept us going in the meantime. So yeah, so that's about it really. Right, so let's just get on with the next show. Then. I thought I was, at, I was going to be able to book more shows, but by the looks of it, this video will probably be about the same length as the last video or so from now on I think I'll just be booking two shows an episode and then just trying to go a bit more into in depth into other things part of the say so it bulks it out a bit but yeah so let's see right let's let me think what I'm gonna do yep yeah. There we go. So we're going to put, I think, opening match, we'll put Thomas Billington in a singles match on his own, see how he gets on. Put him against Joe. Oh, actually, no, not the opening match because Blue Kane's usually the opening match. But yeah, do that. Give Thomas Billington a singles win. Strangely, Joe Henry was not unhappy about that, which is good. That's Baxter, by the way. Sorry, he's leaning on my arm. I slightly moved it and he made a noise. He doesn't like to be moved. All right, I think Clint Monk versus Blue Kane is the opening match. Oh, also, in a New Japan have made an offer for Chris the Bambi Killer. So we might be losing him soon as well. And we'll put this a hardcore match. Blue Kane as the victor. Just to see how it go how Blue Kane does in a hardcore match situation. Actually I need to change this to an actual hardcore match. What have they done? Hardcore indie. Hey. Oh they won't let us. Okay, that's fine. We'll change it to just the normal match, but make it hardcore. Right, so that's swapping up with that. Let's do a tag team match now. Male. Actually should we female should we do female? Let's see. Exclude already booked. So uh, let's see which tag teams we've got here. Jetta and 
Yeah, if you do the Olsen, Olsen, Owen Twins versus, I don't know that, no, we'll do that. I think Bobby Tyler is good enough. It might make the match not very good. Have that as 15 minutes. And we'll do another, we'll do a singles women's match now. Ginny, as always, that's the making another noise. We won't do Kaylee Lee Ray again. We do, I don't think we'll do Mariah May because she didn't have a very good match. I think she's already wrestled Danny Luna, but not for a while. So we'll put Danny Luna in there. Do we get some more women's wrestlers to go against Ginny, I think, from now on? I think we might have to look at international superstars, women wrestlers. All right. So next match, singles match, male. I need to do some angles and stuff as well. Male. All right, TK Cooper. Probably, I don't know, actually. All right, Nathan Cruz is going to be going against... Yeah, so we do Mark Andrews. He can go against Dave Mastiff, maybe. Actually, no. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Nathan Cruz versus Mark Andrews. I'll have that 25 minutes, I think. And we'll go steal the show, open match, all that match, slow build. I think maybe I've just done that. Or maybe they will counter-attack counteract with each other but we'll see we will see it's an experiment we're figuring it all out as we go along right we've done 100 minutes i just need to do some angles so we do Ginny attack danny luna so put that one there and then we do i think we'll do an interview with mark andrews microphone before that and then now we just got to do one more map we're doing kenny williams versus dave i think Unless Trent, is Trent available? Oh, Trent's available. We'll do Trent. We can do Dave another time. Another time. Right. Right. Heavyweight title on the line. Okay, so we need to keep Trent strong. There we go. Right, and let's just click on this. They're not unhappy about anything, so that's good. Right, fingers crossed, everyone. Oh, no, hold on. I've got to do some more angles by the looks of it. Trent, microphone, Kenny, microphone, right there. We've got plenty of time. We've just got to add some more angles. Oh, no, we don't need to add any more. That's it. That's sorted. We've done three angles. That's fine. Right, in a match with superb wrestling and good heat, Blue Kane defeat Clint McGarrett. Got a 51 rating. Blue Kane's starting to do well, starting to get there, even though he's off his game. Blue Kane and Clint McGarrett have excellent chemistry, which is good. So that's another feud we could probably do down the road. Thomas Billington defeated Joe Henry. Got a 68 rating, which is good. That's good. All good signs so far. The women's tag team match got a 64 rating, which ain't too bad. Yeah, the Owen swings one. Oh, I'm going too fast. I was supposed to look at the individual. Sorry about that. Sorry, everyone. Right. Hopefully, we'll be able to see this after when I look at the show history. So, Ginny defeated Danny Luna. Got a 76 rating, which is really good. Ginny, as always, top performer in that match. 82. The angle afterwards, which was meant to be before. I know it wasn't. This is supposed to be a post-match beatdown, isn't it? 41. And the interview angle with... Nathan Cruz and Mark Andrews got a 56. Mark Andrews doesn't do well off script. The match dragged at the end all out, so maybe I should have done 20 minutes next time. I might just do this as a singles match with a with a slow build next show, see what they can do. The angle with Trent and Kenny got a 55 rate. Both did well in the segment. And then the match got a 64 rate. Again, I think that was hindered because we had to keep Trent seven strong, and I think it does hinder the match, but still not too bad. Kenny Williams was really off his game, so maybe we're looking at the end of Kenny Williams as the champion. I think maybe Nathan Cruz is the. Sorry, I'm moving my webcam around. Sorry, moving my laptop around. I'm trying to move my legs around. I think maybe Nathan Cruz or Mark Andrews will probably be the next Fight Club Pro champion. I think, and I, but we'll see. I'll have a think about that. But yeah, the show increased our popularity in 14 regions. Got a 65 overall rating, which is pretty good compared to what we've been doing lately. And we've got 93 people in, which is the best attendance we've done. So that's really good. A lot of pluses there, which is good. We'll just wait for this now to finish. Some time today. I hate this takes forever to load. There we go. Right. So we've managed to get 384, sorry, 3,848 viewers, which is not too bad. 3.1. Sorry. Baxter's next to me, he keeps knocking the laptop. I do apologise. Yeah, so not too bad overall. Bloody hell, £140,000 in the bank now. So that's good. We've got 4% prestige, which is really good. 64 momentum. And we've got a uh, next show, which is Wrestle House, 13 days. I think for Wrestle House, I might do some four versus four Survivor Series matches. I think I might make Wrestle House like an old school survivor series elimination matches just as something different to break it up a bit uh yeah let me just quick look at the finances before we i can figure out whether i always 
Where are they? So they are. Right. So, yeah, so we made 10,000 from performance, but that'll probably go up a little bit. Yeah. I don't think there's anything to talk about, actually, there, because we talked about it before the show, didn't we? They're not too bad at all. Right, then. I'm back in the set with the outro. Just bear with us. Thank you. Right. I was, uh, that was a really good episode. I really enjoyed that. But two very good shows, and uh, I had a lot of fun doing it in the process, trying to just trying to get the right chemistry going with the wrestlers. We've managed to find... Oh, there's back to the popping dead up. We managed to find a opponent, opponent, sorry, a decent opponent for Louis Kane to have a feud with and Clint Martin and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, we're building it slowly. We're figuring it out. It's a shame that Mark Billington's not going to be with us, but it is what it is. We've got to, we're never going to be able to keep these wrestlers for long if they do really well. I'm amazed Kenny Williams has stayed here as long as he has. So, yeah. So, it's all good. And I'll be back, back next week next Thursday so Thursdays and Sundays are going to be probably where when I post the TEW stuff what I'm going to do is I'm experimenting with doing a normal video like this so you see everything and then what I'm going to do is I'm using this software to do an edited version so let me know whether you like the long the, the full version or the edited version I would prefer it depends on what you what you want you might want something like 15 minutes which is what the edited version is it might be a little bit clunky though, because the software I'm using it's 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 AI software basically, and it just it gets rid of all the you know that, that I'm doing all the time and the silences in between. So it, and then it just you know edits it as best as possible. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'll be back soon. All the best to you. Bye.